Metabolic health, what might it mean to you? It might mean that you are carrying some excess weight you'd like to do something about. It might mean that you want to feel better. It might mean you want to have more energy, or it might mean you want to address a health concern that runs in the family, for example. From a doctor's point of view, my point of view, I might be looking at your blood test results. I might be looking at what your blood sugar level is doing. I might be looking at what your blood fats are doing. I might be looking at what your liver function test is doing. In actual fact, I'll be looking at all of those things and putting them together to get a, a, a perfect picture of how your body is working. When we talk about metabolic problems, what we're really talking about is factors of your lifestyle which have had negative impacts on your health. This can include obesity, type 2 diabetes, and also problems with your liver, which we call non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. There are several factors of our lifestyles which can have negative impacts on all of these. These include your food intake, your levels of physical activity, and also areas of life which can be causing stresses on your body. What we aim to do is optimise your metabolic health. We aim to do this by optimising your nutritional intake. We look at your levels of physical activity and try to optimise how active you can be on a daily basis. And also helping you to identify areas of your life which may be having stresses on your mental and physical health. Something I think is important to mention here is blood sugar. So in our blood, we have a type of sugar called glucose. Most adults have a total amount of blood in their body of about five litres or eight pints. Do you know how much blood sugar, blood glucose, you have in all of that blood? The answer to that question is just five grams, one teaspoon. Your body has to maintain your blood sugar level at that level, otherwise it will come to harm. What happens in conditions such as type 2 diabetes is that blood sugar is starting to rise, so the body is in a battle. That battle will continue as long as the wrong drivers are pushing the body in the wrong direction. These drivers are things such as eating the wrong food, typically sugary, processed food and refined carbohydrate. To address this problem and let the body be comfortable with just maintaining the blood sugar level at the level it wants to, that five grams or one teaspoon, what we need to do is have a look at what's happening to your body. How is your body trying to deal with challenges coming towards it? What are your goals? What would you like to achieve? Put all that together and come up with an individualized plan which will not only work from a science point of view, but can also work for, for you from your life point of view. So by optimizing your own personal metabolic health by looking at your nutritional intake, your levels of physical activity and your levels of stress. We aim to improve your wellness, your mental function and your overall metabolic health to give you lasting lifestyle change to be the best you you can be.